Good morning, welcome back everybody. Costa Rica card collector Thomas here. So we got to start stock these back as promised. And we got a lot of things to go over today. And thanks for coming along. So uh, we got the bees in. I'll show you which bees that I targeted to bring in. We're gonna go into our eBay page. I'll show you what I paid for, uh, what we sold them for last night. We'll go into the start stock page. I'll show you what we paid for those. We're also gonna go into some new features and show you some new features on star stock. Last week, guys, I'm sorry I had the uh, video started. I didn't realize I had my top of my head cut off. And uh, we're going to spin the camera around. Should be a shorter video today. We'll go over just a few things, and we'll be right back. Thanks for joining me today, guys. And welcome back, guys. And I do want to apologize for last week's video. I didn't realize as I was rambling on, it went for about 30 minutes long. But I got a lot of information out, and I hope that some of these videos are helping you guys uh, when you're starting your journey on Starstock. Always remember my uh, goal is to, I always collect what I want and what I like and I try to sell, you know, cards to make money to buy cards that I like um, and that's my goal. I'm frugal about it. I don't really spend a lot of money on cards so um, I try and make a little bit of money and build up to get a nicer card. So some great things that I wanted to share with you guys today. This is the eBay account um, that I have. I haven't been selling much on eBay so um, I'm actually surprised that I have $421 in sales because I don't even remember selling everything but it is from 90 days ago so the recent um cards that i got in from starstock i targeted some uh Bo Bichette cards and some lewis robert cards and i bring in uh, a couple of the cards that i actually sent there that i thought would grade a b and one that i thought would grade an a um i sent those back home but one did get a b and one did get an uh they both got a b i thought one would get an a and one would get a B. So um, what we targeted was uh, three of the tops Chrome Lewis Roberts, and I actually had a couple more cards that I was gonna add to the auction um, if it didn't sell, but it did sell overnight. And I was pretty surprised how fast it sold because I listed it yesterday in the afternoon and I didn't get many watches on it. But when I woke up this morning, it was sold already. I'm gonna go over to the Starstock page and see if I have the right one pulled up. There they are. So we bought the Lewis Roberts for $9.50 each, three of them. So we got, we're into those for less than $30 and I sold them for $75. So um, maybe you got $5 back and forth in shipping, you guys, maybe about $5 the other way in shipping. So you got about $40 in and I got about $35 profit on that. Um, I'm not looking to ever get rich, but that $35 is gonna pay for something else that I'm gonna buy uh, down the line. And I'm waiting for actually these Bo Bichettes that I bought also for a few dollars less. We're waiting for some of those to, um, how do you say, sell. We have those on the eBay page also uh, for sale right now. Now, I do want to show you some new features. Um, and Guys, what, what my angle here is that, and let's go over this right now before I even move any farther. Um, here's the cards that I bring home. And I'm glad, glad I had time to do the video this week because... Um, and let me tell you something. Starstock sent the cards in a, on a brand new team sleeve, all packed up, very nice. I don't know, this actually was my card because there was only one on the website. And when I sent it, and let's see, I may have to turn the camera over to the other angle here so we can see the lighting's bad on this angle here. There was one soft corner down here on the bottom. And I was like, let's see if it gets an A or it gets a B. They flagged it a B. Um, of course, I'm not gonna sell this on the website. It's gonna get a lot less money. Something in this condition, it's packed fresh, guys. It's it's a really beautiful card on the front. It's so crisp, so clean looking. Uh, this will sell for more money on eBay. Uh, I'll take good pictures. I'll, sh I'll make sure that that little soft corner that you can see the soft corner is there. It's visible for the person that buys it. Um, here's the three that I sold of the... Um, and Let me put the video on pause, guys, because this is super important. Hold on one second. I'm going to spin the camera around. I'll be right back. Hey, sorry about that, guys, but I wanted you guys to see a little bit better that the... The actual individual cards. Now, um, as I thought, because and we're going to go over to the cards that one of the cards that I sent in. I actually sent in cards that were out of the packs. Usually, all the tops chrome. Actually, I sent in all my tops chrome. You could watch from from past videos. But hey, we're looking at some really nice cards here, guys. I'm sure that we can probably, if we look pretty pretty long and pretty hard, we could probably find the flaws. But I went through most of these yesterday, and I mean. You have to use magnification. I mean, I used to grade cards. You can't see the flaws on cards unless you use magnification on them. So um, that's a pretty nice card for $9. I sold it last night, three of them for $75, if you've seen that. 
Um, that's the going price for them on eBay right now. So taking a nine away is not a bad thing. Now here's one of the uh, Boba Shets. And I did bring home quite a few Boba Shets. Hey, perfect. I grabbed the right one. This, you can actually go back to a future video of mine, um, a previous video of mine, where you can actually see this card on the front screen. I actually pulled this card out of a pack. Within a week, it went to Starstock, and they gave this one a B, guys. Let me pull it out of the sleeve and see if we can see if there was something that, maybe there's a soft corner up there on the top, but sometimes it's fuzz, and you can actually wipe sometimes the corner very slightly. It was. It was fuzz. Um, and it'll clean back up, but that's a pretty sharp-looking card for a B, huh, guys? That was a pack fresh card. It was the only one on the website, too. So um, I know that this was my card that came back when I got it back. And glad I could share that with you guys. The other thing was the other auction that's up right now is I have 12, 10 or 12 of these, uh, that I, 12 of them that I bring home and I put the auction up, I think, for 10 uh, right now on eBay. Um, it should probably sell here in a few days. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I think that we're leaving bees on Starstock. They could come home and they can go back to Comp C or they can go back to other websites. Um, I'm going to spin the camera right back around because I want to show you some other stuff that we have on uh, the Starstock webpage, some new things. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that part of the video there. Um, next thing I'm going to do, and I didn't, get the, uh, didn't have time to send them home to target some C's. I want to send home some C's too in the next batch to compare the C's with the B's. Now, the C's, we should actually see some, some damp. You should actually be able to see something by your eye. Um, just like a PSA 9, like when you get a PSA 9 and you compare it to a PSA 10, you can't tell the difference between the two unless it's a centering issue or something. You have to actually use magnification to see the difference of the two. Not many people are walking around with a magnifying glass in their pocket to you know, see the difference between the cards. So when you're sending a cards to Starstock and they get A's, you're going to take those and grade them. Those are going to be very good condition cards. Your B's that you send in, if you're not comfortable, sell them for a cheap price. Send them back home and send back more back home with it. So you can group a lot together like I did and sell them in a lot and make a few bucks. Um, it did take about a month for those to get home. So you do your logistics the right way. If you bring some cards home and say the player gets hurt, you could be holding them or something like that. Um, I do have some cards coming home soon. Um, that I'm going to send home again, uh, cards that we're going to put in our collection, and that's going to be a great video. I'm going to show you what we uh, what we saved up for and got. We got a pretty big card coming home, so I'm going to send you over to here. The new, nope, not that one. The new page here in the front. Now you know, always remember when you go in, you have the marketplace, and there's a new feature on the marketplace. We're going to go over and show you, but I thought that this is one of the coolest features that they added today. It actually shows you your collection. So, and they give you the graph of your collection. So you can see we're in April right now. And this goes back to March because it was just started. So they may have had it in beta for a little bit of time. But you can see the peak where I was actually um, up pretty high. Now, I did sell quite a bit of stuff. I was close to 2,000. One of the videos and the other um, times you can see where... I was pretty high, and basketball was actually doing pretty good. But basketball was dropping, guys. There's some deals on basketball. You got to get over to the basketball page. And if we have some time, and I want the video to go long, there's some great deals out there, less than $10 on some of these guys that are real uh, young and have some great talent. Um, so this is actually pretty cool. What it gives you is shows you your current amount invested, like cards that you may have bought or moved around inside there, and then your ROA. Now, uh, the little question mark, you could click on that little Question mark. I clicked it yesterday. Combined purchases, price of items currently in your collection, only items purchased on Starstock are reflected here. So these are things that I bought or uh, right off the, the site on Starstock. Now, guys, if you remember, I only started with $150. So I was I never did the math or did the logistics of what I bought and sold, but my $150 built me up to $1,219. And I have an estimated this other little thing here. Not showing off to anybody. I'm just showing you that we can make a little bit of money on here. Um, this is the return investment, um, the estimated unreleased amount. So these are the pro this is the profit. Like if I sold everything, this is the profit I would take home right now on Starstock. So besides the original investment, the money that I take home, and I've already taken home some cards off of Starstock. Think about all these cards that I just showed you um, that are not showing up. So this is all like free money. 
Um, can't wait till that sells. I'm going to sell that stack of uh, Beau Bichette's. And, hey, I might even break it down into two just in case the price of the auction is too high. Um, make it like $90 and $90 for, for six or six. And uh, this is a great feature. So, guys, if you're in Star Stock, always remember. And I do want to thank somebody. I think this week I did get some money. My money's down a little bit this week. Um, there was a lot of guys in baseball that got sent down. And I picked up a Joe Adele PSA 10 first year Bowman Chrome card for nine. It was at $90 or $95 they were being sold for. I had an offer in at 60 and I picked up the card at 60. Um, I'm trying to resell it right now because I always go for a quick flip, but I'm thinking of trying to back off on the price and wait for him to get called up again and making a few extra dollars on that card, maybe. Now, um, a few minutes ago when I was in here this morning, this was actually up higher, so um, when somebody comes in and buys and sells a card, it will reflect um, instantaneously your amount of your um, account. So sometimes I actually hit refresh, and if we could go... Maybe if we get farther along in the video, maybe our refresh will come back and we can see that actually go up or down. It was actually up $100 more yesterday. I think what's going on, guys, there's a lot of people that have cards in here. And it may be like they're hitting the panic button and trying to sell undersell cards. I've actually seen cards on Starstock being sold recently. Less than comps on eBay and way less than comps on eBay. And eBay, you got to wait. You got to get all that shipping and everything. You got to get the card. When you buy it on Starstock, it goes instantly instantly in your account. You own it. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, one of the best things about Starstock for me is the buying and the selling is instantly. You don't ever have to worry about packing or shipping your cards, um, except for these bees that I just bring home. Now, I wanted to go over here and show you one other thing today. One thing that I noticed, and baseball hasn't gone up a lot yet. We won't go back into baseball. We're about exactly the same where we were. But um, you can see the top performers over here. And Keston here is still over there. Eloy is in there, but he should be dropping soon. Uh, he had a lot of hype coming into him. Um, Shohei Otani is doing very well to start the season. And we should probably see Tatis Jr.'s cards taking a dip with his injury lately. Um, this is very helpful. Hot Deals is also very helpful. It tells you what's in the system that they think are the best prices and the best values under $100. Um, that's kind of not changed recently, but this is great. And if you guys have been watching recent videos, this number has been down uh, week after week after week after week. So um, for our week uh, 12 journey, we um, are seeing a little bit of an uptick, and that's nice to see. So um, you can see the top performers, and that Colin Sexton is still there. And if we can go back to any of my previous videos or my first videos when I started here on Starstock, I was really high on Colin Sexton, and that's where I actually made some good money um, with Colin Sexton. I still have some of his cards, too. So, guys, I always use this most traded and latest sales, and you can see that Shoei Otani and uh, Jordan Alvarez cards are starting to fly again. Um, guys, there are some, some really good deals on cards earlier in the season, and I'll click on here to show you. His Star Stock A, last one sold for 47. So let's just go here just in this month, this last month from March and April. If you were on here in March, you could pick up pick these up for $25 a piece. Uh, we know that these Bs at around $10 or $15 are well underpriced right now. And I thought I had an offer in on one, and I've been waiting to get... You know what? I don't have an offer in on one. I wanted to buy one and get one home and group it up with this... Uh, card here the other one and do an auction um so somebody can get the pink version of it also and you know that might even be worth trying to bring home a c ah there it is i made the offer on the c to bring the c home to see if i can get the c so let me uh cancel this offer and up it a tiny bit and put it up to seven dollars and fifty cents and see if we can get this for next week's video okay and we're going to go over real quick to see what we bought this week and a couple of the transactions, and we're probably going to end the video here this week, guys. So activity, current, recent activity, and we'll go into sold. Now the Nick Solak actually sold. Remember we were buying Nick Solaks a few videos ago, and we actually sold a couple of those recently. So uh, JJ de Blade. Guys, sales have been kind of really slim um, and I haven't been really tracking much. I've been kind of busy lately, so I haven't barely been uh, dropping prices or going for offers or things like that. It's just leaving the cards there to see if they sell. But I did sell one of my Nate Low 
uh, star stocks that I did send in. This is one of my cards that I sent in because it doesn't have the bought price. So I made $3 off that card. It was a card that I opened in a pack. Maybe got out of a boom box or something. And bought. And we'll see what we bought this week. And we'll probably end the video here. So I picked up this DeMarcus Cousins star stock B card for $3.50. I put a low offer in on that. And heard some wind about him maybe going over to Miami and playing in Miami. So um, this is actually a 2010-2011 card. So... Um, don't know why I picked that one up, but I actually I'm the last sale on that too. So don't know if I have it relisted. No, I didn't even relist it yet. So I'm gonna keep that in the uh in my account here for a little while. I actually like that player. I might bring that guy home. I might bring that card home. Matt likes basketball players and we like, you know. So um we like the rookie rated logo, so <laughs> I got that to maybe even keep that card. I wanted to show you this card that we picked up. The Joe Adele. And I bought some more uh, Lu Cheng, uh, Yu Cheng cards. There it is. $59. That was my buy. Um, I bought it at 59 guys. Recent sales, too, were just recent. We had one at 85 one at 80 one at 89 one at 95 Some more earlier um, in the year at 95 So when the hype comes back, when it gets called up, maybe he doesn't get called up again. Um, sometimes when they get sent, sent back down, who knows what happens, but Angels are going to be a good team this year. They actually started out, I think they're 4-1 or 5-1. and one. Can't be sure if they won last night or if they played last night, but I think like I seen last time they were 4-1, so he gets called up. There's going to be a lot of hype. Um, I, that is my card I'm selling right now. I'm trying to sell it back for $70 if anybody wants to go and grab it. It's yours, and uh, I think that's about it, guys. And thanks for joining me. I think we covered everything. I just wanted to get a short video in and show you about the, the bees. And uh, we'll see you next week. We'll see what we'll go over next week. Try and target some more cards and do some more stuff with the activity and see if we can get some more things going on. Um, there's been a lot of activity with football, guys. And I've been watching that. Maybe we'll do a follow-up. And that's what we'll follow next week. We can see how the cards have fluctuated with football this last week. Um, Sam Darnold's cards started to fly when he got called to Carolina. Now, I mean, that's got to be people in Carolina buying the cards. I mean, there's still... Teddy Bridgewater there. We don't know if he's going to start. Nobody's made any calls there, but um, it's a good opportunity to get rid of your cards right now. I mean, don't know if Carolina is going to be a playoff team or how far they're going to go, but you could see that. Um, let's see if we can get those recent sales. There they are. But he was lighting up on here. He's not. It's not showing up anymore, recent sales. But today's most traded, there he is. He does show up. There's only nine trades of him today. So it's not like went crazy, huh? But yesterday was a little bit more active and the day before. Guys, you have a beautiful week. Pura Vida from Costa Rica, as we always say. We'll see you on the next video. And take care and always stay safe out there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming along. Bye-bye.